Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Haley. Today I am super excited because I have another lip video for you. This one is a drugstore one. Milani came out with these new color fetish hydrating lip stains. I love their color fetish matte lipsticks. They also have the high shine ones too, which high shine just isn't always my thing, but I really love the matte ones. I have been super into stains lately, especially like glossy stains, like the Rare Beauty lip oils. And I thought maybe this might be something like that. So I was super intrigued and wanted to try them. The packaging is so interesting to me because you can see they try to tie in the color fetish with this packaging. So I have two shades for you guys. And what I've decided to do is I'm going to film one of them today because it is a lip stain and I'll film the second one tomorrow just because sometimes I feel like when when you're trying on lip stains you don't always get an accurate picture of the color after the first one because the whole point is to stain your lips and then you're putting on another color over it and that kind of changes the color on top so that's my plan is to do one today and do one tomorrow so let's talk a little bit about these these are brand new from Milani they are $13.99 on Milani's website I think I got these at Target and these I think were $11.99 at Target, so a little bit less at Target. Speaking of Target, I have recently been accepted into the Target Creator Program, which similar to other storefronts that exist online, like Amazon, it's basically gonna be a page for me where I can put my favorites on there. So. I'm really excited I got accepted because most of what I buy is from Target, including drugstore makeup. So these will be linked below to that Target page, which I'm super excited about. So I just wanted to mention that too. So let's read the description here, which is what I always do. It says, why you'll love it. Lip color goes low maintenance with color fetish hydrating lip stain made with hydration rich hyaluronic acid and plant derived squalene. This cushiony high comfort formula applies with a glossy shine that transforms into a semi matte tint as it dries down. The never sticky non-drying formula delivers up to eight hours of stain power, hydration, and comfortable wear. Say hello to your lazy girl lip era. Okay, if things shifted, I had to run out to give cheese to my husband. The life of a caterer's wife. He forgot it and so I met him halfway and took it to him. Anyway, so I think what we're gonna do is, I think the pink one is really gonna match the dress I'm wearing tomorrow, cause tomorrow is Easter when I'm filming this. So I think I'll save that one for tomorrow and today we'll do the red. I'm really excited about the red cause I don't have a red lip stain. This is in the shade That's Fire 150 and it has this plastic covering. Apparently these are really popular because these were the only two shades left at my Target. And just to let you guys know, I talked about my last video that my Target was getting an Ulta in it. It opened and it's amazing. They were actually really smart because it's almost all high-end makeup, which makes sense because Target already has you know, a lot of drugstore makeup. So they brought in like a few different brands that they didn't already have. The high-end section I bought a Tarte foundation, and I bought a Stila blush. Okay, so here is the packaging, and let's see. It has a doe foot applicator. Let's do a little swatch here. Okay, seems to me like it's more of an orangey kind of red, which I guess makes sense because the shade is that's fire. Oh, the smell is interesting, you guys. I feel like the actual lipsticks don't have a smell. This smells like vanilla. It smells really good. <laughs> Smells like a vanilla candle, seriously. I did have lip balm earlier. It is all off now, just so you know. Okay, there's the bottom. Okay, and there's the top. This is beautiful. It, it's a little hard to line your lips with it. I would almost recommend using a lip liner with it. Or I guess I should say this, it's not hard to line your, line your lips with it because this is very pointed, which is nice. What I meant was you kind of need to line your lips with it. It's not one that looks seamless with just like a few swipes because it's still more of a liquid formula and less of a balmy formula. If it was a balm, I feel like you wouldn't have to worry so much about the lip lines, but because this is more of a liquid, you do. So it's not hard to line your lips. I just feel like they do need to be lined or it looks a little bit off. But this is beautiful. I 
have a feeling I'm gonna like this a lot for work. As I always say, I love the things that are just like, you can put them on and you can forget about them for the rest of the day. The cool thing about me also splitting this over two days is that tomorrow when I film the one for the pinker color, I can tell you how it wore throughout the day. The instructions also said that you could build it up and make it look even glossier. So let's try that. I'm gonna go in again. So notice though the stark difference, I don't know if you can tell on camera, there's a big difference between the color when you first put it on and the color of the top where I haven't applied a second layer. So just know when it dries down, it's gonna be more of like a pinker shade than a red, but it still looks really pretty. Maybe if you apply a second coat like this, the red might stay a little bit better. Let's go to the top now. This is just beautiful. I kind of want to wait for a few minutes and see if you leave it for a bit, if that color fades. Okay, so this has been on for about five minutes. I don't feel like the color has faded much. So definitely if you want to keep that red pigment, I would add on another layer. It really just looks beautiful, you guys. Let me know what you guys think down below. The other thing the instruction said is that you can blot it to give it more of that matte look. So it says it's supposed to dry down to a matte. Right now it's not really feeling like it's drying down. It's more of like if you were eating and drinking throughout the day, all of the glossiness would come off kind of thing. That's sort of my prediction. It doesn't super feel like it's drying down matte like a liquid lipstick would, you know? It just is seeming like the glossiness will just wear off throughout the day. But I am gonna blot it. I have this little towel here. Okay, I blotted it and the color is still there. So if you add an extra layer and even if you blot it or the glossiness just comes off naturally throughout the day, it looks like the pigment will still stay. That's so stinking pretty, you guys. That's beautiful. I am so excited about this. I wish that Target had more shades in stock, but I'm excited to try the pink one tomorrow. So I will come back to you guys tomorrow and I will try on the pink one and let you guys know how this kind of wore throughout the day. Okay, it is the next day, Easter Sunday, and I have a few thoughts about this formula. It's really beautiful. Definitely, if you want more pigment, build it up, like I said. However, a few hours after filming that last clip, I ate some lunch, like with a fork, because I feel like that's important to know, and then I ate some pretzels, right? So you're putting them directly into your mouth. A lot of it came off and it didn't look great. So just know if you're gonna be like eating, drinking, I think you're probably okay, but if you're eating something, you're probably gonna have to reapply because I don't feel like the pretzels were particularly oily or anything either. Like what I was eating was not oily. So I think that just eating in general kind of makes it come off. So just know that I still, I actually really like the formula. It's really pretty, I think. It is super, super similar to the Rare Beauty ones, the lip oils, which I love those. I will say, I think those last maybe a little bit better than these, but I mean, you're paying a significantly less amount. So just know that you may have to reapply, but we're gonna be doing a new shade today. And I'm wearing a lot of pink. Today's Easter Sunday. Oh, you can't even really see my pink. Um, I have a very monochromatic makeup look going on today too. So let's look at the shade 140 Pink About It. These were the only two shades that Target had left. And let's look at the applicator again. Okay, this definitely looks pink. See the applicator there again. Okay, it's definitely pink. Pretty. Again, it, I feel like you need to line your lips, at least with the applicator. It's not like a glide on and go kind of formula. I feel like when you blot this one, if you wanted more of a subtle pink stain, it, it would be really pretty. Let's add some more to the top. Okay, sorry, I don't think the background was totally defocused. I just pressed the button for that. So apologies if it's only now defocused. I just think it looks prettier when it's defocused. Okay, so that is with one coat. I like it, it's more of a, a strawberry kind of pink. Okay, now I wanna add on an extra layer, just like we did with the last one, just to show you that it can build. That's gorgeous. Something else to note, the glossiness of it, because it says it's supposed to mostly dry down to a matte, 
and I think I said yesterday that I didn't feel like it was going to. It actually did dry down quite a bit to a matte, but it never was a full, full matte. There was still some kind of glossiness and luster to it. So just so you know, if that's what you were thinking, I would either blot it a lot if that's what you're going for, or just go into it knowing that it's never gonna like completely dry down to a matte. Okay, now I'm going to blot it to show you how that looks. That's really nice. I feel like I can't say whether I like the more lustrous or blotted look better. I feel like right now I'm liking the more blotted look better, but I really liked the luster of the red one. So I think it just depends on what you're going for that day. But it's kind of nice that this is kind of a versatile product in that way. Final thoughts. Yesterday I had on That's Fire. Today I had on Pink About It. I'm kind of shocked to say this, but I think if I had to choose a favorite, I would go Pink About It. It's really pretty. I like that with that first coat, I could tell that if I blotted the first coat, I really, really would have liked it as like a very subtle kind of pink on your lips. This is a little bit more built up, but I like this too. The red was also really pretty, but I don't know. It's something about the pink that I think it's because I don't have many shades like this. I don't own a lot of pinks in general. I own a lot of reds and I own a lot of like nude shades, but not a lot of pinks. So I feel like I'm excited to have something a little bit different in my collection. Overall, I like these. I actually think they're a pretty good dupe for the Rare Beauty lip oils. Just know they're probably not gonna last all day long, which the Rare Beauty ones don't totally either. Depending on what you're eating and drinking, those come off and you have to reapply them. So that's it's not that strange of a concept. But I think for the price, like 11 or $12, they're really pretty. You get a lot of product in here. It'll last you for a really long time. I like lip oils, but I have to be in the right mood for them. I always like a little bit more pigment and this is kind of a fun marriage between the two. That's how I feel about the Rare Beauty ones also is like you get that really pretty sheen, but then it's not gonna get everywhere because it is gonna kind of wear off. And, and dry down somewhat matte. This is a yes for me. I'm excited to especially wear them to work and see how they do when working. I don't get the feeling that they're gonna go everywhere or anything like that. So I am excited about these. Have you guys tried these? Do you have a favorite shade? Because like I said, I only had two options, but it looked like there were a lot of pretty shades in it. So I'd be excited to try another one. If you enjoyed this video, I hope that you will subscribe and give it a like. It does really help out my channel. If you're already subscribed, I hope you hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload new videos and I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day. Love you guys. Bye.